In studio, we have Musalim Davidi. He is actually the visionary behind the National Super Alliance and the leader of Amani National Congress to give us uh, their uh, way forward in terms of uh, the outrun for this particular uh, party. Now, what is new about NASA? Well, um, NASA, uh, as, I, as I said some time back here, is the National Super Alliance. And uh, we want the National Super Alliance to go beyond what we'd call traditional uh, political coalitions. Uh, in our strategy and in our planning, we are saying that NASA has four anchor parties, um, Amani National Congress, uh, we have ODM, we have the Wiper Party, uh, and we also have uh, the Ford Kenya. These are the anchor parties. But we believe that Kenya is bigger than these four political parties. And we want to provide an opportunity uh, to trade union, the trade union movement in this country. Uh, we want to provide an opportunity for the civil society, for the religious bodies, for the youth, for the women, uh, for the business community, to have a more significant uh, input into the affairs of this country and to have a forum where their issues can be listened to therefore and thereafter be part of the broader policies uh, of the Kenya government. Well, one would say um, skeptic uh, if you may that mm -hmm. uh, the coalition or the tradition of having coalitions put together in mm -hmm. Kenya is more of just a vehicle to get someone into political office and as you've seen even the agreement that you have lasts till 2022 mm -hmm. so is this just a means of trying to get into office and then uh, figure out what happens next? No I think uh, we are following the law and and in reality uh, if you are to enter into a meaningful coalition, you have to be realistic. So we enter into a five-year uh, program. After the five-year program, if that coalition has done well, then it can present itself for an additional five years, uh, depending on uh, uh, the mood of the country. So I don't want to just look at this as a simple vehicle. This is serious business. It's perfectly legitimate and it fits in with the constitutional uh, situation in our country today, uh, where the structure of our constitution uh, in Kenya has been structured such that uh, no particular individual party or individual can imagine they can go it alone without attracting uh, uh, a, a proper national cohesion. So this is not cohesive. just a power sharing arrangement as has been dismissed. Power sharing is president. power sharing is part of it, and let's face it, politics is about power, being put in power for a particular period of time. So this is at so, the core so, of NASA. Yeah, it it is part of the issues. There are other issues which relate to our policies and programs. But I want to actually show how ridiculous this argument that uh, the deputy president keeps on putting out there how ridiculous it has become. First of all, why is he there? If he thinks that he does not want power, why doesn't he resign and call it a day and then become a farmer? There's nothing and, special about and, him. And, and contribute to that. So, 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 so we all are seeking to lead and with that leadership comes a certain measure of power as guaranteed in the constitution. So the point I'm trying to put across is this. NASA is also about power. But we are saying we don't want to monopolize power. We want to share it. Jubilee wants to be in power and they want to monopolize it with a few people. But we are saying we are different. We want to share. All right. Speaking of uh, monopolizing power, the truth of the matter is you will, as NASA, have to agree who is your flag bearer. True. And that is what everyone is talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what will actually bring people together in terms of knowing which party to support in terms of vision. Uh, why has it, taken, has it taken such a long time to agree on who the flag bearer is? I think the fundamental p point here is that first of all, we must agree on the principles. And that is agreed with and this particular yes, document. We must signed. agree that there are certain principles that we all subscribe to. Uh, and the vision of unity which NASA brings on the table is much greater. Let me tell you, when we talk about NASA and what the people tell us out there, they tell us 
It does not matter who. What will be key is that can you people display that you are committed to the unity of purpose. In terms of To be able to provide a real alternative. In, in terms of Kenya. displaying whether you have actually mm. the ability to lead Kenya and commitment mm. to leadership of Kenya, mm. then why would it be a big deal as to a saying right now and declaring it is going to be Musali Amdavadi, the visionary of NASA, who will be the flag bearer? I think uh, that is making it too simplistic. Uh, I still insist that let us build this uh, unity very systematically so that it is on a solid foundation. We don't want to build something that will crumble. Remember the biblical story of somebody who built his house on sand. We want NASA to be on a farm rock. That should be the foundation we want. Now, we want to be able to show the people of Kenya that we have a long-term vision for the improvement of the welfare of the people of Kenya. For now, the vision, there must be a visionary. Right. Now, to find a leader, it will come. And as far as we are concerned, we are not at time bad in the context of the IABC uh, deadlines. We shall have uh, a presidential candidate and we shall have a deputy uh, to that presidential candidate on time and the papers will be submitted to the IABC. You disapprove the uh, notions that are being put out there that mm -hmm. there's a uh, plan to have a constitutional change so that they can accommodate all the four chiefs of uh, NASA and have an arrangement where there will be a deputy and there will also be a prime minister. Let, let me tell you, we are going to this election with the constitution as it stands, all right? But be that as it may, let us not shy away from this reality. Going into the future and knowing the structure of our constitution, when Kenyans settled for this constitution, there was a general acknowledgement uh, throughout uh, the country that it may not be the best uh, constitution but it was a constitution that became a negotiated document because at that time uh, there was what you might call fatigue for certain changes and compromises had to be made and the government the grand coalition government uh, Muzeki Kibaki when speaking he made, came to the conclusion that it may not be the best maybe 20 percent of it may have certain challenges so you're not ruling out the possibility uh, the, where you would want to change there is the no we cannot rule it accommodate out your structure we should not rule it out and everything that we would do as nasa would be done in a constitutional process you've spoken of uh, having the principles put in place that is mm -hmm. your foundations and that i believe is in the coalition agreement that was signed today mm -hmm. uh, but there's also part of the uh, you know, unifying structure of NASA, mm -hmm. the issue of trust. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the chiefs has uh, before uh, called you or termed you as the architect of Goldenberg. Uh, are you, and that is Ray Lodinga, mm -hmm. are you able to bury the hatchet and move forward without any bad but First of all, let me put it this way. Uh, I was never the architect of Goldenberg. In fact, I am the one who actually slayed it. If you go back into history, you will come to that conclusion. So I have a very clear conscience uh, that when I was Minister for Finance, I played a very important role in bringing to an end the whole saga of Goldenberg, which I found being perpetuated under the scheme of export compensation scheme uh, and other schemes and check kiting and what of you that were going on in the financial sector at that time. So I played my role. I stabilized the economy at that time. I made sure that I then instituted and drove hard to make sure very significant changes to our economy were put in place. For instance, let me just right. quickly rush Real this. Quick. We, we ended the tenure uh, of a governor being in office forever. I am the one who went to parliament with a bill that reduced the tenure of the governor of a central bank for a maximum of only two terms. Prior to that, they used to serve endlessly. You've spoken passionately against corruption, and that will be one of the great mm -hmm. issues that you will fight as NASA. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've said you are clean in terms of uh, corruption and uh, your past. Uh, but one of the other chiefs, that is uh, Moses Wetangula, as the foreign affairs minister, was also uh, in, named in a graft case. And he even said today that there will be no sacred cows. Is it now moving forward, disregarding the past? Or what does this mean in fighting corruption especially? I, th I think what is important is that what evidence is there and is any of them before court? 
all right? Let us be very clear, there are issues about allegations and there are issues that people can put across, but at the end of the day, uh, the fact of the matter is that has he been charged in court as we speak today? Well, so you say in, in, in effect that your conscience is clear, mm. all the NASA leadership has a clean slate and are not corrupt. Unless there's evidence that is brought to a court of law, uh, as we stand now, I don't see any of them facing any challenges. As we wind up, how long can we expect to uh, give the NASA leadership uh, time to announce the flag bearer? The man I, they know they will give the vote. I to. think uh, let's, we are very happy that uh, we've achieved a major milestone today. Uh, our national coordinating committee is working uh, around the clock. They have no break. Uh, and there are a lot of other issues that okay. need to be put together. But I want to assure our supporters uh, out there that the NASA presidential candidate will be unveiled on time and he'll be able to present his papers to uh, the IABC on schedule. But I'm Salim Davidi. Thank you very much for your time. And of course, we'll be following keenly your plan as you roll out the NASA strategy moving forward.